Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Three step stoic, exciting this time. So again, hopefully you just looked at the two step and the one step review. For three step, we're gonna hop right into it. Again on Haiku, on the e-learning page, we're looking at three step stoic homework, odds only. All right, so you're only doing the odds. There's 16 total, looks like this. I'm gonna go through a couple evens with you. Be sure to have this out. If you don't want this, um, make sure you have at least like what one mole equals. Okay. But I have all that on here. You can see one mole is the molar mass, one mole is 22.4 liters, and one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. You'll need these. Okay. Um, for the three step stoic. So, what I'm going to do is again there are 16 on here you're only doing the odds at least for practice if you want to do all of them you can i'm going to go through two uh evens with you and again print this off use a separate sheet of paper or if you want to you can do the document with me you can type in the conversion like i did with the other review or the one and two step review so i'm going to start with number 10 down here if you look at number 10, again, these are not balanced. At least most of them are not balanced. Some already might be balanced, but you know, you might get lucky. So right away, to balance this, I'm just gonna go quick, uh, go quickly, put a two in front of that, and then put a two in front of silver, and there we go. Hooray, we're all balanced. Exciting. One copper, one copper, two nitrates, two nitrates, two silvers, two silvers. So number 10, how many grams of silver will be produced if 86 grams of copper are used? Note here that you don't see moles anywhere. Okay. For one and two step stoic, you saw moles somewhere. Um, but for three step, you won't. Okay. Because you will never start or end with moles for the three step. And to look at the roadmap to kind of show you what's going on, you're always starting with one of the left ones here, whether it's grams, liters, or atoms, molecules, and you're going through the conversion to get to moles of that substance. Then you're going to moles of the final substance, and then you're going into either grams, liters, or atoms slash molecules of your desired substance. So you're skipping over the moles, but you still need to convert into them. Okay, you still need to do that. I can't stress that enough. You can't just go from grams straight up to grams and be done. It's not possible. So that's a shortcut that you can't do. Note here, the only way to get from, I guess in this case, I have Hampshire to Soldier Field is to go through this road, go on to I-90, and then take the exit to go to Soldier Field. You can't just like <laughs> straight to Soldier Field because there's no road connecting it. So you need to follow this. If you don't follow your roadmap, you're going to get lost. Okay. So there we go. Oops. So what I want to do is start off. Can I do this? There we go. With a conversion. I'm going to use blue. Here we go. I'm going to go 86 grams of copper. And again, I'm going to use my equations. Equation. There we go. First, I have grams. So immediately, I have to go from grams to moles. I look at my roadmap. I start with grams, have to go to moles. There's no other way that I can get to grams of silver. I have to go straight from grams of X, in other words, grams of copper, to moles of X or moles of copper. So back here, but I got to use the molar mass. So on the P table, 63.55 grams of copper. Is equal to one mole of copper. That cancels my grams of copper out. Please note that. And I have one mole of copper on top. And that's why it goes that way. You need to cancel your um, units out. And at this point, we have moles of copper on the bottom because, again, what we do in class all the time, once you have moles of something or whatever's on top here, you have to cancel that with the bottom. So we're at moles of copper, and we are now at that mole to mole part. Where we're at moles of copper here, you got to use your balanced equation. That's what that means to get to moles of silver. So this is just using your balanced equation. And right up here, one mole of copper 
is this uh, makes two moles of silver. So I'm going to put one mole of copper on the bottom, on top, two moles of Ag. Again, the reason that way is to cancel your units out and your substances. So now I'm immediately going to put moles of silver in the bottom. We're not done yet. We need grams of silver. Okay, so don't get off the train yet. Don't just get off at any exit. You got to get off at the grams of silver exit. We're almost there. Again, if I'm going too fast, just replay, or you can always email me if you have questions on things. But right now we're at moles of Z. In other words, in this case, uh, uh, moles of silver. We got to get to grams. So this is just a straight up gram, uh, mole to gram conversion. Go from moles of silver up to gram. Trying to get to soldier field. You got to take this road. One mole is your molar mass. So, come on. Here we go. One mole of silver. Molar mass of silver in the P table is 107.87 grams of silver. Grams of copper cancel out. Moles of copper, moles of silver. There we go. Grams of silver. You're in grams of silver. So you are good to calculate. And from the math, it should be 292 grams of AG. Answers are at the bottom. I'm going to type that in, 292 grams of silver. Answers are slightly different, okay? Cool. So three-step, it, it, it takes longer, obviously, but just take your time and you will be fine. Make sure you show all your work, cancel out all your units and your substances, and you'll be fine, okay? I want to quickly run through one more. I want to look at number six up here. This one's already balanced, I think. Two C's, two C's, six H's, six H's. There we go. Uh, note that we start with molecules of ethane are broken down. If you don't know what ethane is, it's okay because it says are broken down. So you can't, it has to be this because it breaks down into the two products. So it has to be the C2H6. I'm going to write 5.76 times 10 to the 28th molecules of C2H6. I'm going to set up my conversion. Now, again, on my roadmap, I'm trying to get to volume of hydrogen. Volume is liters, okay? So I'm going to write liters in parentheses down here or over here. Molecules to liters. Now, molecules are at the bottom here. I'm trying to get to liters uh, of a different substance. So I have to follow this pass. Those three conversions. My first one is molecules to moles. I got to use the 6.02 number. That's what that says. So canceling units out, 6.02 times 10. Oh boy, how do I do this? Here we go. The 23rd molecules of oh boy two h six in one mole of ah oh, Christmas uh, there we go of c two h six here we go all right I had to cancel out the molecules with the molecules down there. But now I'm in a mole to mole part. So I got to convert moles of C2H6 to moles of hydrogen gas. Again, following my map, moles of C2H6 to moles of hydrogen gas. I got to use my balanced equation. Balanced equation, everything's a one to one ratio. That's the best kind of balanced equation. So one mole of C2H6, because I need to cancel that out, one mole of H2, that's what I'm trying to get to. The reason they're one, again, because that is your balanced equation. One mole of ethane creates one mole of hydrogen. One more conversion. I'm trying to get to liters. So again, in the roadmap, it says that one mole of 
a gas at STP is equal to 22.4 liters of that gas at STP. All my units and substances cancel. Molecules to molecules, moles to moles, moles of hydrogen, moles of hydrogen. I'm in liters of H2. I'm in volume of H2. That's the same thing. There we go. The answer you get should be, oh boy, this guy down here. Your answer might look a little different, but that's okay, because that's what it means. Okay, 2.14 times 10 to the sixth, or if it's like 2,140,000, something like that. Okay? So given all that, try your best on, on those odd ones, but that's all we are doing. Make sure you cancel units out, cancel substances out, use your roadmap to your advantage. If you're not getting answers at the bottom and things are still tough, please email me. Please let me know if you need some help. Uh, I'm here. Great. Thanks, everybody.